from Southern Maryland's Weather Leader. This is a JB Weather Alert. Good evening, I'm forecaster John Bordash with you in the Weather Center this evening, continuing to track the impending threats we have across the region for our Weather Alert Wednesday. It will be very important you stay up to date and weather aware throughout the day tomorrow, as we have several threats that could be moving across the area uh, tomorrow due to the remnants of uh, what was once Hurricane Ida. We have rain, wind, power outages, and tornadoes that are all going to be possible tomorrow. I think the worst of all of these threats will likely be tomorrow afternoon. I think between 12 o'clock and 8 o'clock tomorrow afternoon will be the time to watch. But we could have heavy rain anytime tomorrow. I think we could have the threat of tornadoes anytime tomorrow. But that would be the area I'm really taking a look at. Here's a look at future cast. We'll let this play through. You can see heavy rain uh, be Begins to develop across parts of the region overnight tonight. We could see some cells develop overnight that may try to rotate, but then we do eventually clear out as we head on over towards the morning rush hour tomorrow before we see additional areas of heavy rain push into the region. And these could be very heavy for many of us. And we could be looking at one to two inch an hour rainfall rates, and some of these could be producing tornadoes as well. You see these we have that we have lines move through between about three, four o'clock all the way up until about midnight. Uh, throughout the day tomorrow. As we continue to push on through, again, we have an enhanced tornado risk for parts of our region. This is where the tornado risk will be the highest tomorrow. I think we're talking about the potential for several tornadoes to be possible, and damaging wind gusts up to 60 to 70 miles per hour could be associated with in those storms. We have a very rare extreme risk of seeing flash flooding across parts of the interior mid-Atlantic. Locally, we have an elevated to significant risk of seeing severe or of seeing severe flash flooding, um, but we also have that threat of seeing um, high rainfall totals. I think uh, here in Southern Maryland, an area southeast of I-95, we're talking one to three inches of rain. We're probably talking more like three to six inches of rain northwest of I-95, with the potential of amounts up to 10 inches uh, in that extreme risk area across parts of southern Pennsylvania into the New York City metro area. We have a flash flood watch up through much of tomorrow and on over to Thursday morning for that threat of uh, flash flooding that could be life-threatening. Here's the big headlines I think you need to know out of this. Again, we're talking one to four inches of rain being possible locally, the heaviest Wednesday afternoon and evening between 12 and 8, and an elevated threat for a couple of spin-up tornadoes. Stay with GB Weather for the latest uh, information. I'll be with you all day tomorrow to continue to keep you one step ahead of any storm that fires up. Have a nice and safe one, and please keep it tuned here to GB Weather for Southern Maryland weather you can count on. Check the forecast anytime online at jbweather.net.